Hi, this demonstration is to show the bill of material functionality of DDM. I'm currently working uh, in a project folder which is uh, called Demo Treble Zero Six. We're going to begin by opening the bill of material of this uh, Land Rover Discovery assembly. Uh, so if I right click and open the bill of materials, here we have the bill of material editor screen. Okay, as we can see, uh, this assembly is made up out of uh, three sub-assemblies and two parts. Uh, the attributes that we've got displayed are the uh, the part name, description, uh, the issue of the part and its status. Uh, this uh, demonstration is about manually created bills and materials, not CAD driven. So the CAD quantity and the manually managed options that we can see here are both related to bills and materials that are driven by the 3D CAD data structures uh, for the supported CAD systems. So we're not going to focus on this area. There is a separate movie if you need to see that. And what we're interested in is these additional quantities. So we have real quantity, spares quantity and a total quantity. If I, uh, for instance, want to edit this um, shipping crate and let's just say for instance that there are two of these uh, my total quantity of course has gone to two. It might be that we have a spares quantity of one so my total quantity now goes to three so you can see how this works pretty simple and straightforward but it gives you the tools that you need. Uh, unit of measure uh, is a part level attribute which we've clearly not set against all of the parts um, but it's not a, a bomb level attribute. Uh, hidden items it might be that uh, certain items appear on your engineering bill of materials but you don't want them visible to for instance external users via the DDM web clients or you don't want them to appear on bill of material reports okay in addition to this we've got a, a notes attribute which is just a bomb level attribute uh, I can for instance just type in in this area just say this is a bomb level note for instance Okay, so uh, they're my basic attributes that I have displayed in my bill of materials. We're going to add uh, an existing part from the DDM database. So if I jump into uh, the main DDM interface, I've previously run a query on some parts in the database. Uh, I've selected the, uh, the part type object and just run an open search. I've created a number of demonstration parts here and the item that I'm going to add to my bill of materials is this discovery rear bumper. If I select this with a, a left mouse click and then start to drag it, uh, if I then alt tab back to my uh, bill of material window and then let go, I can add this item to the screen. So you can see from a color coding standpoint that this is a new item highlighted in blue. Uh, the green is a modified item because we changed the uh, notes attribute and you can also uh, remove items so if I flag it as removed it will show the removed items in red so it's a very easy color coding way when, it, when you're working on complicated extensive bills of materials this can be really useful now I don't want to delete that so I'm going to just select unremove so I've added uh, an existing part from the database very simple and straightforward okay I can apply my changes or I can carry on working I'm going to carry on working because the next thing I want to do is I'm going to create a simple three-part assembly and then I'm going to bring that assembly into this bill of materials okay I'm going to choose assemblies I'm going to right click and I'm going to select new I've got a, an automatic numbering system switched on so this is going to be called a bolts kit for discovery. Um, okay, I'm going to assign it to the demo business unit so the rest of the guys don't get to see it and I'm going to categorize my item as demo data that can be deleted later. Okay, so if I uh, run a quick search on my assemblies I have this bulk kit for the discovery. I'm going to edit the bill of materials so I'm just going to move through this pretty quickly. There is my bill of materials. I'm going to jump back to the main DDM interface, requery my parts, and I'm going to select, uh, I believe, can I select a number of parts? Let's drag and drop them in there. So uh, there's my 
uh, nut and bolt kit. Uh, I'm going to change some of the quantities on here so I'm going to say well I have uh, 12 uh, M6 nuts and I have 12 M6 bolts uh, let's just say that there are four of those and there are four of those okay so pretty simple and straightforward that's my bill of materials and I'm just going to OK to this right so if I go back to my assemblies or uh, I could just look in my recent items because all of your recent items appear in there um, next thing I want to do is I'm going to put this uh, bolt kit into my Land Rover Discovery uh, bill of materials which is this one so I just did a, a select and then a, an alt tab so I can drag and drop and I can apply this so I've added a sub assembly here and uh, my assembly I have a, a real quantity of this assembly in here of one bolt kit uh, there are no spares quantities in here so now that I've applied this so I've, I've uh, added an existing part I've added a new assembly with some existing parts in as well so as you can see it's pretty pretty easy uh, to create bills and materials so I'm going to apply my changes now okay and then we jump back to our normal view okay the next thing that we're going to look at uh, is what's called a bill of quantity so um, within our uh, assemblies in fact here I can just uh, pick the menu option of expand all um, which just expands all levels of the bill of materials uh, and across the bill of materials there may be various different quantities of uh, objects um, where we want to um, look at a bill of quantity. So a bill of quantity will flatten the structure and for every unique item it will show uh, the item and its total quantity across the entire bill of materials. So if I go into, into bill of quantity view you'll see the structure disappear and it will flatten it and show me a, 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 an individual entry for each unique item so I can see the total quantity across the entire bill of materials okay so this can just be toggled on and off now when you're in bill of quantity mode it might be that you don't want to see uh, sub assemblies because uh, effectively the assembly is made up out of its component parts so this is an option that you can switch on or off that's only available in bill of quantity view if I switch assemblies off you can see that they they disappear okay so these are just toggled on and off if I come out of the bill of quantity mode I'm back in multi-level uh, I can switch multi-level on and off like this. Uh, I also have the option here to toggle on and off the hidden parts so you can see that the, the last two items here are both classed as hidden parts uh, and I can choose to uh, not show those in the bill of materials as well. Okay, uh, The last thing I want to show is the auto numbering capability so um, let's just say uh, at our top level we want to select all items I can go into edit mode and select auto number which is going to give me my position numbers for the items on my bill of materials now at this level I might I might want to start at a hundred and go up in 10 unit increments so when I say OK you'll see this update itself and it puts my item numbers in place OK so that's pretty neat if I go into my sub assemblies it might be that at a sub assembly level I want to auto number but I only want those to go up in ones for instance so it's a it's a simple tool pretty flexible um, but it does allow you to quickly go in and number the items edit auto number one one okay and finally edit auto number one one okay there we go so I can uh, collapse all apply my changes and that's a, a simple demonstration to show creating and editing bills and materials in DDM thank you